Hey guys, how do you guys like my new microphone? <laughs> yeah, this is the same person, same uh, person as the last video, X Mr. Cheese X here. Uh, at the ex um, suggestion, well, it's not really a suggestion from Garfield Ulliver himself, he just brought up about the X go and that was fixed, but I have to thank him anyways because that also brought up the general issue with the microphone. Because I got in all my um, friends like Canadian Chili and XJC4RX to um, do a comparison with me and they brought up the microphone. So, yeah, I got a new microphone and now everything sounds great. I even got my parents to. <laughs> My parents say that I sound like a professional with this microphone, and, uh, what is it? Trixie Pigeon, Pineapple Pigeon, I think he goes by Pineapple Pigeon, um, these days. Pigeon just said, um, now I can actually stand to listen to you, so, yeah, this, I really wish I can go back and, um, fix all of my previous uploaded videos. Knows, but I really can't. Time travel doesn't exist. JCR said that I should just delete them, but I don't want to delete my um, first eight LPs. They're special to me. Guys, you can like go back and check out my origins. But anyways, um, here I am at the um, Victory Road gate. You can go through um, the route west of Viridian City at in order to get in through that entrance or what I did was I just flew to Indigo Plateau and just well just walk right through Victory Road then again it probably was um, quicker for me just to go through the east side because if I step out through here yeah this isn't very far from Viridian City at all because Viridian City is Literally just right over there. I just need to jump down that ledge. But anyways, that's route. What was it? 22. Well, forget about route 22. Let's just go ahead. There's no guard um here anymore because we got an all eight gym badges. Well, Kanto gym badges. So now we can actually go through here here onto route 28. Now, I actually did some off-screen training um, on this route, so yeah, I actually came here before. Um, I just want to say I actually did quite a... Um, yeah, I did do a, quite a bit of training. <laughs> I can't believe I was just about to say that again. But um, there aren't any new Pokemon here. Um, what I came across were just Rabidash and Tingleaz. Maybe a... Um, Ponyta here or there, but that's pretty much it. They, um, I know at night you can find the typical bull bat, but you can find gold bat anywhere at night. Um, it's probably good for me to go ahead and show you um, exactly how high I trained my Pokemon. Yeah, I did a lot of training. You saw how it was only in the mid 50s. Well, now I got them dumb all the way up to level 70. Expo at 70, Polybo at 69, Abo at 68, Zumbo at 67, Sudbo at 66, and I got them my Sparrow all the way up to level 17. Now, it's very important that you have at least one Pokemon at level 17. I was only joking. But, anyways, yeah, you want to do quite a bit of training here. Um, level 70 is pretty much my recommendation. Level 60 is the lowest I would go, and that's pretty much the minimum. I've actually got tried Mount Silver off screen at level 70, and it just doesn't work. Um, from that, you can kind of deduce that there is a boss in Mount Silver, but that's about it. Now, there are some wild Pokemon, like I said, and it's really just Rabidash and Tangela, and sure enough, there's a t Rabidash right there. He almost said Tangela again. That would have been pretty funny. What's interesting is that I found that Tangelas can actually run away from you, but really, I don't see a big deal, and they're pretty common at the same spot where I told you you can find Mr. Mime. 
Now, there's a house right over there. Um, she gives you a TM. When you go in there, I'll show you exactly what I mean. I'm not bothering with max repels because I kind of want to conserve them for the actual cave. There are quite some powerful Pokemon in the cave. They're actually around level 50. Actually near um, level 60. Of course, in the grass here, you can only find level 30 Pokemon. Sometimes level 40. There's the Ponyta you can sometimes come across. I found that Tangela is the most common Pokemon. I actually never gone on Bulbapedia and look up these statistics. Here we are at um, the Silver Cave route. We're not actually in the cave, obviously. We're just in the field outside the cave. But what's nice is that this is the only time that you can actually fly here. Now, I have Sparrow here just to demonstrate that. Here we are in Johto and take a look. You can actually fly to this specific area. Because there is a Pokemon Center here that's really not too far, actually. It's really just up that ledge. Here we are. Once you enter here, you can fly to this spot anytime, so long as you're in Johto. Otherwise, if you're in Kanto, you're gonna have to fly to Indigo League and head south and just reach the Silver Cave. But really, it's not that big, so long as you have plenty of repels, it shouldn't be a big deal. Now, I kind of want to make this cave a little bit special. What I actually want to do is go ahead and deposit that sparrow. As you remember, I actually replaced Mantine with that sparrow, but I only had sparrow out so I can actually fly around. Uh, what I actually want to withdraw is remember this little fella? As you can see, I actually did a little bit of training with Togepi. Let's go ahead and withdraw him. And no, I'm not gonna withdraw Snorlax. I don't have enough room for that. And I basically want to give Togepi that experience chair. Because as you see, um, if you actually remember from my previous videos, you see that I've been canceling Togepi's evolution over and over and over again. Well, this end, um, Let's Play series is actually coming to a close. It will end the uh, last part. Ugh. Part 80 will be the last part of this LP, so that would be an awesome place to have Togepi finally evolve, so you can actually see what Togepi evolves into. Now, Silver Cave is actually right up here. Mount Silver. Well, it's Mount Silver, but it's actually... I call it Silver Cave, or Silver Mountain actually sounds much cooler when it comes down to RPGs, but anyways, this is going to be a short video, it's really just going to be a preparation video, just remember there is a Pokemon Center nearby, so if you are in Johto, you can fly here anytime, so long as you're in Johto, it kind of sucks that your Pokemon can't fly in between regions. At least you can until the remakes are gold and soul silver, in which I think you can fly in between regions. Actually, yeah, yeah, now that I remember, you can. Uh, it's been a long time since I played Heart Gold, though. Um, as, as I told you, I only played Heart Gold up until the Elite Four, and I kind of just stopped. This is honestly the farthest I have ever gotten into this game. But, um, anyways, I'll just... I've already healed at the Pokemon Center, and everybody is up, um... There's actually a lot of items you can pick up here. However, I... However, you're gonna need to have a Pokemon that knows both Surf and Waterfall to collect those items. And, really, I just rather skip out on those items altogether, because... I've tried this without items, and I actually grounded up to level 70 and managed to um, complete this cave in one try. At least bot beat the boss in this um, cave. And really, that's all the advice I can give to you. I highly recommend getting all your Pokemon to at least level 60. E at the mo- at the- I actually highly recommend 70, it's probably when it finally starts to get easy, start to become a fair challenge. 
of your Pokémon are... If none of your Pokémon, if any of your Pokémon are still in the 50s, don't even bother. Just grind until your Pokémon, every single one of them, is at least level 60. Of course, Togepi is still at level 47, but I don't really care. Just make sure that all you, at least the majority of your team, at least five of them, are at, uh, are at least level 60. I got them near... Um, level 70, which is when the battle finally starts to get kind of easy. Well, it's not easy, but it's a fair challenge. Because, boss, I will warn you, it will have Pokemon at the high 70s. So, level 70 is at the minimum, I will recommend. In fact, one of his Pokemon is all the way up into the level 80s, but I'll cover that next part. So, I'll just finish it up here next time we're actually gonna tackle the Silver Cave, Mount Silver, and and this LP. See you guys then, and I really hope you like this mic.